What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video and today we'll be talking about Acrobat Batch. Try to watch the whole video so it will make full sense, it's not going to be that long anyway. And after watching, please let me know in the comment section any recommendation for a topic. So now for the definition, spin, half spin, hop steps, euro steps, cradle, reverse and change shot layup attempts receive a significant boost. And additionally, the ability to beat defenders with these gathers is improved. It is pretty much straightforward, it will just boost all the shots that I mentioned. So now we'll focus more on finding the sweet spot of the batch. So now for the test, I'll just need to pick a sequence that I can do in lots of repetitions that can produce lots of challenge variations, even I do it uniformly. So I take Euros. So I will do this sequence here in lots of repetitions and take note of the challenge percentage. So what the batch does is it gives you better animations on all those special layups and that is really visible on these results. As you can see here, the higher the badge value, the lower challenge percentage, which is directly proportional to the quality of the gathers. And just wanna make it clear, it doesn't directly make the actual percentage lower. For example, in here, on Hall of Fame, this exact move here is playing around 11 to 12% challenge. So even I took off the badge, that will still remain the same. All types of animations will have different challenge reduction, Depending on the quality, so what the badge does is it gives you more frequency of getting the better animations. That's why on the results, the Hall of Fame have lower average. So before we go to the next part, just want to invite you guys to like the video if liking so far. And I've been covering lots of good stuff recently. So it would be really awesome if you guys can drop by the channel to check it out. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the upcoming ones. So now going back to the chart, notable part here is that you won't really notice the effects that much unless you have it at least on gold. So sweet spot will be gold and it's not bad as well if you push it to Hall of Fame, you'll still get a decent boost. And about the make percentage, I assume it'll have the same curve as that because at the end, the better animation, the better challenge reduction, and of course, the better challenge reduction, the better chance of making the shot. And for the badge recommendation, it's really subjective because it all depends if you're taking these shots at the first place. But if you do, according to my results, the boost will start to be noticeable when you have it at least on gold. So again, let me know in the comment section what you think about the badge and don't forget to leave any feedback or any recommendation for a topic.